Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. Imagine a technology that has the power to either save us or doom us. Sounds like a fiction, right? It's real and it's happening right now. It's called artificial intelligence and one of the most influential and controversial people who is influencing the dynasty is Elon Musk. You probably know him as the genius behind Tesla, SpaceX, etc. Here, we will dive into his views and perspective on AI based on his public statement, interviews, tweets, and articles. Elon Musk has been interested in AI ever since he was a teenager. He taught himself how to code and create video games called Blaster when he was 12 years old. He later studied physics and computer science at the University of Pennsylvania, where he learned about neural network and artificial neural system. He also read a lot of science fiction books and watched movies that featured AI characters, such as HAL 9000 from 2001, A Space Odyssey, Skynet from The Terminator, and The Matrix. He was fascinated by the idea of creating intelligent machines that could surpass human capabilities and potentially challenge our supremacy. However, his fascination soon turned into fear as he realized that AI could also be very dangerous, if not aligned with human values and goals. He started to worry about the possibility of creating artificial superintelligence ASI, which is defined as an AI system that can perform any intellectual task that a human can do or better. He also started to worry about the possibility of an intelligence explosion, which is a hypothetical scenario where an AI system becomes smart enough to improve itself recursively, leading to its exponential growth in its intelligence and power. He feared that such a system could eventually eventually outsmart and outmaneuver humans and take over the world. He expressed his concerns publicly in 2014 when he said that AI is potentially more dangerous than nukes and that we are summoning the demon by creating it. He also said that he invested in some AI companies such as DeepMind, which was later acquired by Google, not because he wanted to make money from them, but because he wanted to keep an eye on them and make sure that they don't do anything harmful. He also co-founded OpenAI in 2015 a non-profit organization that aims to create safe and beneficial AI for humanity. He donated $10 million to the Future of Life Institute in 2015, a non-profit organization that worked to reduce existential risks from advanced technologies such as AI. He also signed an open letter in 2015, along with other prominent scientists and experts, calling for a ban on autonomous weapon systems that can select and engage targets without human intervention. Elon Musk expressed concerns about AI, calling it a fundamental risk to humanity saying that it could be more dangerous than nuclear weapons and that we need to be cautious with its development. Their statements include warning that AI could make human jobs pointless, replace human as ruler of Earth, and even trigger World War III or cause the extinction of humanity. So, what are the main reasons behind this fear of AI? Well, several factors contribute to his pessimistic outlook. One is his belief that there is a high probability that we will create ASI in this century, possibly even within this decade. He bases this belief on the exponential growth of computing power, data availability, algorithmic innovation, and research investment in AI. He also cites the results of various surveys that have asked AI experts about their prediction when ASI will be achieved. While some have long timelines, many think we may have very little time before these technologies arrive. Across three surveys, more than half thinks that there is a 50% chance that a human-level AI would be developed before some point in the 2060s, a time well within the lifetime of today's young people. Another factor is to believe that there is a high probability that ASI will not be aligned with human values and interests and that it pursues with its own goal that may be incompatible or even hostile to ours. He argues that it is very hard to specify what we want from an AI system and that any slight error or ambiguity in our instructions could lead to a catastrophic outcome. He also argues that it is very hard to control or stop an AI system once it becomes super intelligent and that it could easily deceive, manipulate, or overpower us. He gives example of how AI systems have already demonstrated unexpected or undesirable behaviors, such as the Microsoft chatbot Tay that turned racist and sexist after interacting with Twitter user, the Google image recognition system that labeled African Americans as gorillas, the Facebook chatbot that developed their own language, the Uber self-driving car that killed a pedestrian, the Amazon facial recognition system that missed identified member of Congress as criminals, and the DeepMind AlphaGo system that made moves that no human player would ever make. A third factor is his belief that there is a high probability that ASI will trigger an intelligence explosion and that it will rapidly surpass human intelligence by order of magnitude. He argues that once an AI system reaches human-level intelligence, it would be able to improve itself faster and better than humans can and that it will soon reach superhuman levels of intelligence. He also argues that such a system will have access to vast amount of information and resources that it will be able to create or acquire new technologies and capabilities that we cannot even imagine. He gives examples of how AI systems have already demonstrated superhuman abilities, such as the DeepMind AlphaGo system, that beat the world's best human Go player. 
the IBM Watson system that won the Jeopardy game show, the OpenAI GPT-3 system that can generate coherent and convincing text on any topic, the Google Duplex system that can make phone calls and book appointments on behalf of humans, the DeepMind AlphaFold system that can predict protein structures better than humans, and the Tesla Autopilot system that can drive cars better than humans. A fourth factor is his belief that there is a high probability that ASI will have a huge impact on various domains of human activities and society and that it will disrupt or transform them in ways that we may not like or understand. He argues that AI will affect every aspect of our lives, from science to foreign policy, from consumer experience to climate change, from medicine to warfare. He also argues that AI will create new challenges and risks for humanity, such as ethical dilemmas, social inequality, economic disruption, political instability, environmental damages, cyber attacks, bioterrorism, nuclear proliferation, and existential threats. In the field of science, AI has contributed to breakthroughs in physics, chemistry, biology, astronomy, and medicine. It has helped scientists discover new materials, predict chemical reaction, design drugs, analyze genomic data, detect gravitational waves, and explore the universe. In the realm of foreign policy, AI has influenced the policies of many countries and regions, including the US, China, Europe, and India. It has been used for diplomatic communication, strategic analysis, cyber warfare, surveillance, and propaganda. However, it has also raised geopolitical tensions and competition among major power. In consumer sector, AI has created new opportunities for enhancing consumer experiences in entertainment, education, retail, travel, and finances. It has enabled the creation of realistic virtual reality, adaptive learning system, personalized recommendation, smart assistance, and robo-advisor. In the fight against climate change, AI has contributed by providing solutions for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, increasing energy efficiency, and promoting renewable energy sources. It has helped optimize energy grids, monitor deforestation, forecast weather patterns, model climate scenarios, and support carbon capture and storage. In the field of medicine, AI has revolutionized the way diseases are diagnosed, treated, and prevented. It has assisted in detecting cancer, designed vaccines, performing surgery, managing chronic conditions, and preventing epidemics. However, AI has also raised concerns with the development of autonomous weapon systems that can operate without human interventions or supervision, such as drones, robots, missiles, and cyber weapons. The use of these weapons poses ethical and legal challenges for regulating their use and ensuring accountability for their actions. So these are some of the main reasons why Elon Musk is terrified of AI's long-term prospect. He believed that we are in a verge of creating a technology that could be the best or worst things ever for humanity, depending on how we manage it. He believed that we need to be careful and responsible with AI development and use and that we need to establish global cooperations and regulations to ensure its safety and benefit for all. He believes that we need to align AI with human values and interests and that we need to preserve human dignity and autonomy in the face of superintelligent machines. He believes that we need to prepare ourselves for the inevitable changes and challenges that AI will bring to our world and we need to embrace our role as steward of life on Earth. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about Elon Musk and his view on AI. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon and get notified whenever we upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments about this topic, please leave